So welcome everybody. This is Traction Glam Week initiatives with Wikidata with the presenter João Alexandre Peschanski from Wiki Movement Brazil. And let's start. So thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you, Erica, who is also actually one of the presenters to some extent. I have this job of presenting on behalf of four people. They are all here, including myself. Me? <laughs> okay. okay, so this is collective work. I'm only here as a means toward a, uh, some process to some extent. This is work by Wiki Movimento Brasil, the user group, and the Research Innovation and Dissemination Center for Neuromathematics, which is the lab where I hold a position. This is funded by the Sao Paulo Research Foundation. And it's basically our work to solve what no one in Brazil really cares to solve, which is to provide knowledge. And this knowledge needs to be provided urgently, otherwise museums burn, they get destroyed, they are unfunded. Museums don't have, this is a global south country, they don't have resources. Only 1% of the public museums in Brazil have any sort of digital media available. So if we don't do the digitizing, if we don't do the upload, if we don't do the dissemination of this work, it just won't happen. And this knowledge will be lost. It will be destroyed. It will just uh, be unavailable forever. So there is a sense of urgency. And what I'm going to present today is the aspect of Glam Week initiatives, so initiatives around the collections of galleries, libraries, whatever galleries means, archives and museums or other cultural institutions to provide this knowledge. So it's a focus on process, which to some extent is interesting because it connects to the vision that was laid out on Wikidata for the Wikimedia platforms, which is Wikidata is a resource to improve efficiency and effect effectiveness of the other Wikimedia platforms. And this is the focus and is particularly looking at the Brazilian experience as a model, I hope, for the Global South. It's easy when you have staff, resource, uh, funding, whatever. It's a little bit trickier and it's more community dependent when you are from an impoverished country, when you are from a region on which the Wikimedia community needs to get directly involved in the process. Uh, and this is, to some extent, uh, an idea that starts from the way I'm presenting, from the broader aspect of providing this knowledge, a process of convergence of this knowledge and availability through how we go onto this process to the actual single item that we work on. So I'm gonna present to some extent what I've just called the sum of all glam week is Brazil, the several institutions and how we keep track of the work we've been doing. I think we are up to now, and we've uploaded around 70,000 files to commons, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of stuff to Wikidata. It's about also the item modeling of a glam week initiative so we can keep track of it, and how we can involve the community because that's the agent of this knowledge development. And this is one of our main projects with this Museo Paulista. It has, we have over uh, 23,000 images uploaded. This is a museum that has been shut down for several years. So if you don't go to the Wikimedia uh, platforms, you just don't have access to this knowledge. It's only available for the general public here which is different when you are just, to some extent, mirroring digital platforms that already exist, for instance, on the museum website. So what we do, we have items for each one of the glams that we work on, and they are Listeria generated. They, each one has a page, so the community can go there. 
we have a template for uh, GLAM Week initiatives. It's called the TIGLAM. This is not Wikidata, but it's pretty cool. It was developed by uh, Edward Porto, who is here in the room. And so we keep track of them. So they are all then items on Wikidata. They are not fancy items. It's just important that we are able to keep track of what we are doing. This is important for the community to actually reach out and converge, and this is Wikidata again, that there is, oh, I did, okay. you have pages on Wikipedia, commons, categories, so people can find uh, elements easily. This is TGLAM, which is the template that we use. This is a small uh, GLAM that we worked on. It's again a national museum, public museum, that is currently shut down by the government by lack of funding. You want to have access to content, you need to go to the Wikimedia platforms. So it's a small activity and you see there are several members, some members of the community small GLAM that are working. This is again Wikidata generated all the list of GLAM so people can go back and forth over them, but most importantly, and this is where Wikidata is coming, you have tasks. And there is a lot of tasks. These are, again, poor cultural institutions, so the metadata that we get is generally really bad. We have batches of images that no one knows what they are. So the only way that we can solve this issue if we want to have this input onto the project is to actually mobilize the community, which is something that we've, did, we've done for airplanes. The community with airplanes are just fantastic. They just identify in one day like 500 images of airplanes. We are doing this for political protest in Brazil from the National Archives. And we use several tools. This one was presented by Andrew Lee, which is Tabernacle, which is a tool that he introduced to me, so I'm pretty, uh, I acknowledge this help. We've actually learned a lot from the Metropolitan work, which is, I think, part of what we all do here is to share processes and understanding, so we are thankful. Another one that we learned from Wikimedia Deutschland is the broad table that I don't think you've mentioned in your presentation, Andrew, which is actually pretty cool. It was very important for us in the context, you might remember, of the fire at the National Museum, in which the, this gigantic museum, historical museum, science museum in Brazil, just burned down. There was no digital collection. So we need to organize, we organize the campaign so people, random people, would submit or upload to Commons their image. And they were the only, there are the only images we have of these museums. And I'm thankful again for the community to have shared the word. And we've used this tool, Broad Table, to have the community understand the language on which uh, the items had to be, the entries had to be created or were created, the number of statements. It's a community tool, it's administrative <coughs> stuff, and mix and match, of course, which is useful to be able to find more easily where the information lies when you have external databases. And again, on the administrative aspect, which is again not already the main space, we also rely on MBabel, which was presented er earlier on, through Listeria so people can actually improve content, not having a blank page in front of them, but being able to have some structured narrative of an entry before they can create content. So this is all in the process of improving efficiency and effectiveness for the community. And we also do that on the main, on the main space. So we have an infrastructure, most Wikipedia, or I would say, many Wikipedias have this infra infrastructure on, so automated info boxes, and of course Commons has the Commons info boxes. These are really, really useful 
elements because they fetch what we are able to include onto Wikidata and they, sh and they easily give uh, a sense of effectiveness and social impact relevance of what we are doing. This is, these are again cultural institutions that are not recognized as GLAMPs that we uh, work on. And uh, we've used these for Wikilove's monuments as well, so people would just upload through Wikidata their monuments and the use of the monument ID that is now through Mike Pio, who is here, uh, has uh, a connection to structured data on commons. This is again something that improves the effectiveness of the process. So I think I'm gonna speed up. In Portuguese Wikipedia, we, could, we can rely on Listeria bot generated lists on the main space, which is actually pretty cool when we are dealing with small cultural institutions uh, spread around that have to some extent similar artists in their collections, which means that every time you upload one museum, it actually generates a sort of avalanche bolt editing on, I don't know, dozens of lists, for instance, of this one's list of paintings of Pedro Américo, which is one of the most important historical painters in Brazil. So if you look at the history, most of the content that was included, and sometimes small information, small information, but sometimes batch uploads, comes from Wikidata. Again, the sense of effectiveness. And now moving to the way that we deal with things. So the major difference from what you've seen from Andrew and the work with the Matt and I think the way we are doing, five minutes from 20 or 25? Okay. Uh, is we don't do Python, we do Google Sheet Formula, which is, I think, probably harder, but we should at some point. Hmm? That's scary. Yeah, it's kind of scary. It's a large concatenation, but once you've done one, you can do it them all, but this is how we are doing this. We use Paddy Pen, we rely on commons templates, but I'll show them. So it's basically a process of search, organize, clean, and quick statements, file, whatever. And we do reconciliation mostly through Google Sheets. We have issues with OpenRefine, mostly because we receive the collections not as uh, full collections, but parts of them. Normal, and we are uh, afraid that if we use OpenRefine, the decisions that we make won't be recorded. So we won't be able to have them used in different processes. And we have this gigantic Google Sheet that to some extent people spend time finding the right QID or finding the ID that they need to find and then they just reconcile through Google Sheet again. And the upload is based on Patty Pen. We've tried Glam Pipe, it's a little bit complicated, but uh, Patty Pen is the one that we're using. And again, in the process of effectiveness, the commons templates basically bring from Wikidata what the information you've uploaded. So this is one of just an example of an image that we have uploaded from this very famous photographer uh, in Brazil, and it brings with the art photo uh, commons template a structure that we feel is useful. Each one, each one of the processes that I've shown you were identified as a topic of a Wikidata lab. You probably heard of them. Uh, as of now. These are trainings that we provide for the community so they are able to work on each one of these steps. So here you have Magnus and Andrew uh, in Brazil uh, helping us with uh, in, the, uh, in working in this process that has been the process that we've relied on for these cultural institutions. And the, the trainings are available Online, the last one we have available online is on disagreeing 
data with Danny Vrandechik. And that's it. So thank you all for being here. This was a fast track presentation, but I think we have time for questions. Thank you. Thank you, Joan. So now we have five minutes for questions, and please wait for the microphone before asking. So who got questions here? First of all, thank you for all the work that you're doing. And I want to ask you about inspiration. We just came from an education panel where you said that the work that you do with your students is uh, difficult for you because you know you have to find assignments and things to do that are interesting. So I'm wondering how you keep yourself inspired and what do you do to kind of try new things and um, find a new uh, next ideas to, to work on? I don't know, Shani. <laughs> I could say maybe I'm a maniac, I don't know, but it's obsessive. I don't know. It's just that against the sense that if we don't do it, no one will do it. Obsessive <laughs> So this is a motto for I think these processes. And again this is a counter on which the museums are being shut down or destroyed. And again, if we don't do it, this content will just disappear. So we are just right now facing a situation in which the Brazilian government has decided to put to shut down the databases of, on the killed and disappeared people in the military dictatorship in Brazil because they disagreed that people were killed or disappeared during the milita military dictatorship. So content disappears. So I think we all live, and it's just not myself, Erika, Giovanna, Nether, with this sense of emergency, which I think is a little bit different from other circumstances, other countries. But I would say that in Brazil, and I can imagine the global south in general, this is something that is really relevant. Content will just not be there if you wait. Um, I was wondering if there was any positive aspect to your relationship with the Brazilian government. Um, has there been attention to your efforts uh, with the museum or otherwise? I know it, it got a lot of press. Did you get any positive attention? Did you get any collaboration? Is there any avenues uh, in which you are getting some, some progress with the government? Well, uh, as some of you might know, if not all of them, we currently have a very bad government in Brazil. So if they knew we existed, they would shut down all the projects. So I'm glad uh, what we have right now is better than any communication. So we have a very, very large initiative that is as of today, half clandestine with the Brazilian National Archive, which is under the administration of the Department of Justice, which is extremely fair right. And they just don't care about what we are doing. And if, we, if they knew we were, if they, they don't really care, but if they knew, they wouldn't like it. Just like the Department of Education, the head of the Department of Education sent a letter to Wikipedia, to Wikipedians twice, this year, saying that they, he doesn't like his entry. And we don't know what it actually means, but it came as an official document. And then you can imagine how in this process this would be understood. I don't think there is any connection right now, but I think it's just an expression of what they do or uh, understand the role of culture or, I don't know, social communication of culture in Brazil right now. What about local governments? States? Cities? Yeah. So the question now was about local government cities. So that's an actually interesting aspect. Uh, one of the GLAM that are listed is actually not necessarily a GLAM. 
in like a couple of, of weeks ago, we decided with a local government, where is it? This one, it's called Wiki Takes Santana de Parnaíba, Wiki Occupies Santana de Parnaíba. We had this agreement and it was generously funded by the Wikimedia Foundation that we will take over a city for a several days. So we arrive with 15 Wikimedians with the support of the local government, which opened its cultural institutions. They are very, very small, non-digitized, and we basically wikified everything. So we took pictures of five, it's a historical city, so there were 500 monuments in the city. So we took pictures of each one of them. We mapped them on OpenStreetMap. We went to the archive. We uh, uploaded what we could. There were licensing issues. We interviewed uh, the elderly in the city. And this was done with local government. But this kind of local negotiations are harder than when you have a broader uh, federal agent. Because then you can just trickle down the negotiation. But it was. Uh, fun most, which is of course always important. It was very, very impactful. I think we've uploaded like uh, 10,000 images in this process. We have time for one more question. <coughs> Hello, thanks for your presentation. Just a very uh, practical question. Uh, there was a link to, um, to training materials in your presentation. So what? To training material, yeah. um, I just tried to follow the link, but it points to a Wikimedia Commons uh, image file. Um, it, I would be interested in, in having a look at the training materials. Um, are they in English or in Portuguese? So, which one? The, the previous one. Yeah, oh, yeah, that one. The, he, available here, that points to a JPEG file on Wikimedia Commons. Oh, okay, no, this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not the. Uh, no, but, uh, no. sorry, I'm, uh, I was looking for the training materials. Okay, so Maybe I, anyway, somewhere I'll yeah. provide you the link. Okay. So or if you could put it on the Etherpad, it would be, would yeah, be good. So because that would be interesting to, to see how that relates to what we tell GLAM institutions in Belgium. Sure, so... Thank you. It, no, of course, and thanks for the question. And they are not all on, on YouTube because at, at some point we didn't have the technology to stream, but now we do. And it was implemented, so... I would say the last eight trainings out of 20 are online, and some of them are in English, uh, some are in Portuguese. As we are targeting the local community, it's important for us that it's in Portuguese, and then some work needs to be done for subtitles. And there were 20 of these trainings, all the material, PDFs, uh, links are on Wiki. So they are traceable, and the idea is that we meet in the morning, like uh, 10 a.m. We have two hours of lecture, sometimes from someone in the local community, sometimes from a guest, even remotely. Then we learn something very specific, like how to uh, do modeling when you have disagreeing data, like the last one, or how to implement uh, an automated info box, how to run a Listeria, so stuff like that. And then we learn this, and during the afternoon up to 6 p.m., we implement this on our workflow. This is why I was saying there is this aspect of training and doing. So the content is available, so you can check, and I am sorry the link was broken, but of course it's provided, and it's on Commons and YouTube. So that's it. We are out of time. Thank you very much for attending this session on Glam Week initiatives with Wikidata. And the Brazilian crew is still here available for your questions, for discussion, all those things that we've been doing. And thank you very much, Ron. So another round of applause, please. <laughs>